Hi everyone, um, going old school today, we're going to make a quiche, so I'm going to talk you through the basics and start-ups. Oh, uh, we're making quiche, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. So, um, in here, oh, I've got uh, the scales. I've got some plain flour, there's 300 grams of plain flour in oh, here. We have two teaspoons of salt. This is flour, Charlie. Flour. Yeah, flour, good girl. And then, the trick okay. with uh, short oh, pastry. Oh, is half and half, so you've got 300 grams of flour, so this is 150 grams of butter. So I'm going to grate that in. And then it's a um, similar technique we've done on a few videos already. Uh, we're going to rub this in to resemble breadcrumbs. Then we're going to add one egg yolk to help bring that together. Oh, move that butter over. Lovely job, mate. And we're going to work it into a dough, which we want to handle as little as possible. Your butter a bit soft. Yeah, it's straight out of the fridge. I've, I've got hot hands. I'm not. Uh, I'm not an ideal pastry chef, I'm afraid. But we'll get there in the end. If you've got a food blitzer, if you've got a big, big blender, you can just drop it this part in, make it resemble breadcrumbs. Then add your egg yolk and a couple of tablespoons of water to bring the dough together. But I don't have a big enough. We don't have a big enough food processor to do a dough this size. So I'm gonna give this all a rub. Rub, 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 rub. The trick is to handle the butter as best as possible. So we want it to crumble with the flour. We don't want it to melt in. So. That's why I've grated it to make it smaller. Oh, it's the boring part now, guys, I'm afraid. So we're rubbing that in. And then the filling that we're gonna do for our quiche later, um, ham and cheese what you want in really if you like salmon you could do salmon and chive always helps to have cheese in the quiche in my opinion so it's not just a an eggy mix broccoli broccoli and tomatoes really nice mushrooms mushrooms ham and mushroom absolutely lovely <coughs> and we're gonna have ham and cheese do you think the girls will eat onion yeah. in the quiche yeah so we're gonna have ham cheese and onion so we're gonna go we're going to play it safe for our kids. We're just going to have a potato salad with this and some fresh salad, some peppers and cucumber as it's warming up. And if any of you drink, it'd be nice with a, a glass of white wine. But neither me or my missus are drinkers really and not big wine heads. So there we go, a couple of chunky bits in there. Pretty much there. So I'm gonna rush this bit along. So one egg yolk, separate my yolk from my white. Splosh, in that goes. That's gonna richen the dough up and help bring it together. And then you want about two tablespoons of water to bring that dough together. So you literally wanna dough it over add too, too much water. We want to try and get this right first time round. You don't want your dough too short either, because then it won't roll. That's another tablespoon of water in there. The trick is with short crust is we don't want to work it too much. So once it comes together as a dough, I'm going to get it on the counter. I'm going to give it a knead so it's smooth and then that's it. We don't want to, we don't want to go bonkers with it. And that's a little tablespoon of water. So that's four tablespoons I've added with this flour. And don't panic at first if it feels wet because it hasn't absorbed all the way through. Don't go 
flour in straight away. Right, so I'll load it all together. And we're gonna literally gonna just need this smooth. So I don't want to stretch this too much, so I'm just keeping my hands close together and just little little pushes on the dough. I don't want to stretch it out too much. So you get a nice crumbly pastry. Right. So get rid of that. Get rid of them. Two seconds, sorry. So we always taught at college when we were learning, you rest your dough, then roll it out. We're gonna cheat. We're gonna roll ours, then rest it. So we're gonna get our dough here, run it in a rough, rough circle. Because it will shrink. And we're just going to roll it. So I floured the surface, put my pastry down, turn it over, and then trick is is when you roll it out, is making sure you turn it. So forwards, backwards, turn it. Forwards, backwards, turn it. Obviously, the bigger it gets, depending on how big your rolling pin is. We've only got a tiddler. Hello, my tiddlers. So you can see it's short. It's very, very short, these little crumbly bits on the edge, which is what you want. You want a nice, crispy, crumbly pastry with your quiche. So if you see as you roll out, it does retract. So it does need to rest. So if you were to rush this and get this straight in a, a tin, You would, um, it would retract as it was cooking. So we get it to this stage. I'm quite happy with the thing. So I'm gonna uh, transfer this now onto a baking tray and I'm gonna put this in the fridge for 20 minutes just to rest and then we'll line our tin. All right, so the pastry's had a, had a 10, 15 minute rest. So we're gonna line our tin. So get a rolling pin, roll up your dough, drop that over your, your case. Now the trick is to lift the edges and just push down into the top. What's also handy, take off a little bit of the excess and we'll make a ball which we'll use to push into the edges. So yeah, here we go. Let me get my ball of pastry here and push that. So by doing that it's the same consistency, you're not going to push your finger through it. So this will get that in right to the edges. Do you bust in the dish? No. There's enough back in the pastry. All you want to do is just take off some of the excess. You want to leave a bit of overhang yeah. just so the pastry can rest. You don't, we don't want to trim it flush just yet. Go. at it a bit so I'm just gonna and also just ensures that it's right in the corners you're gonna maximize your filling then with a fork with a fork with a fork with a fork we're gonna prick the base you don't want to go through but we just want to 
create little little indentations. This will help the pastry to cook quicker. So that's, that's now gonna go in the fridge for 20 minutes. So that can sort of settle and firm up. Then we're gonna line that with some parchment paper. And then if you've got like some rice or some baking beans or lentils and stuff, gonna line that and we'll bake it for 20 minutes. So next time you'll see me, this would have rested in the fridge for 20 minutes. Right, so that's had a 15, 20 minute chill time in the chiller. So um, if you line it now with parchment, um, chefs like to use cling film for everything. I like cling film because it moulds to the corners of the base better. If you don't feel comfortable using cling film, you don't have to. Pipe and paper will work. But cling film has a high, high melting point, so it's not going to melt. So you see that you can get that right into the corners. Stay there. Lovely wife just informed me we have baking beans, so I haven't got to use rice. But if you have rice, rice will work fine, or lentils, or dried chickpeas, or couscous. I'm going to get this bag open without destroying it. There we go. So we're going to put our ceramic baking beans in here. And then push these out. And then I'm going to just fold this over. So now I've got my oven preheated to 190. So I'm going to pop that in the oven now for about 15 minutes. What this will do, this will set the sides of the, of the quiche base. Um, and then I'm going to take it out and then put it back in without the beads for another 15 minutes to... Uh, get the inside so it goes lightly golden brown and then we'll add our filling so i'll see you again in about 15 minutes once this is up 15 minutes in the oven right so that's had 15 minutes so as you can see the sides of set. the beads are very very hot it's still soft so this is going to go back in for about 10 15 minutes now um, basically that's just going to form a nice crust on the surface um, and then i'm going to show you how to make the filling Turn that down to about 180 as well. Right, so for the filling, Alexa, stop. I have 300 mils of double cream. And to that, I'm going to add three eggs. Sorry, four eggs. Do apologize. Gonna add some salt. I want to season so it tastes nice. How much salt? Uh, teaspoon. Teaspoon of salt. Um, and then myself, I've actually got really nice seasoning that's paprika and onion really handy I was gonna add a little bit just to give it a, a little kick of flavor. and quite simply I'm gonna whisk that all together And then what 
my pre-cut up here is I've grated about 120 grams of cheddar, a small red onion finely diced, and I've diced up some just some packet hams we can get our hands on. So that's gonna be our filling. So once the quiche comes out of the oven after this browning stage, we'll assemble the filling and we'll put it back in to bake. Right, so that's uh, 10 minutes in the oven. Let's just seal the pastry, which is what we want. So now we are going to build up our lovely quiche. So a bit of sprinkling of ham, a bit of sprinkling of onion. You wanna make sure you mix it, mix it up as you go. Sprinkling of ham, sprinkling of onion. You can uh, sweat your onion off beforehand if you want. I personally like a little bit of crunch. It will soften slightly in the mix anyway. And red onion's sweeter than white. Ham, onion, raw cheese, ham, you want to make sure you fill it nicely, there's nothing worse than an under, an understuffed quiche. And then this might be a little bit too much, but it's got a sinking around the ingredients. So if you add it bit by bit, you'll be surprised. So just go around the quiche as you pour. See there's air bubbles. Just give that a little, little jiggle. It's a tiny bit left. So we're racing about 40 mils. So now this is going to go back in the oven at 160 degrees on the bottom shelf for about 30 to 40 minutes, um, basically until the filling sets. Um, so I will see you in 40 minutes. And there we have it guys, that's been in the oven for 35 minutes. So a tiny bit of bounce, so we're gonna leave that to cool down for about half hour or so. And then just gonna trim the edges, take a knife. Oh, sorry, take a knife. And we're just gonna trim around the edges and you'll have a perfect quiche. And there we have the final product. Mommy. That's the edges trimmed Mommy. out of the pie crust. Mommy. Mommy. Out of the pie case. Mommy. And Mommy. we have a nice fresh quiche. So we're going to tuck into this for some salad. Hope someone does follow the recipe. If you do, post up pictures and enjoy.